is up guys? One of my favorite people on the planet is here visiting. That's a big title. It is. I'm gonna have to clip that and save it for myself. Yeah, dude, put that in your-, your... You know what I'm gonna do? Every time you call me, that's not gonna be my ringtone. <laughs> Imagine. That. that or my alarm clock, one of the two. That'd be crazy. <laughs> so, TJ is here. We did a little project with his 350Z over at Drift HQ. I think one of the things that I always forget is TJ is like one of the most emotive people I know. I'm so hard to get like a facial reaction out of. TJ, you could give him like a good soda and he'll be like, bro. This is Adam's favorite thing. I, just, I, I wear the emotion on my face. I don't try to hide it. I love it. It makes the other person feel really good when you give such great reactions. Well, that's good because sometimes I'll try and do stuff for Adam and this is what he does. But inside, Thanks. inside, <laughs> inside, inside I look like you. But on the outside, he's like, Thanks, hey, dude. when I when I uh, drove your car, that definitely evoked a reaction. And you guys will see that later in this video. TJZ is it evoked a reaction. That's one of the things I'm most excited about is that after Adam drove it, the response that he gave and the feedback he gave, like that was awesome. That meant more to me. Oh. The fact that he put in all the effort to getting Drift HQ and all that stuff to bring that car back to life. When he was like, dude, you watched the video, but that was like the stamp. I'm like, all right, I'm ready to go <laughs> some people up in this car. All right, so speaking of people up in a car, I'm about to f you up in my Barrett GT350. Have you seen under the hood in this thing? I'm, no, well, I, yeah. I, I haven't seen it since it's been like back, I guess. Like, you built it a while ago. You never rode in it though, right? No, no, oh, never. This is, this is the car that I think will evoke the most emotion out and of And that's you. like, I was just saying this to Johan, I was like, Adam's been talking about doing this with me for days now, and the fact that he's this excited about it makes me pretty uncomfortable, so. Well, you know, I drive a lot of cars, so like, I become numb to certain things. When I started driving this car again, I'm like, oh, doctor, you know? I'm excited, how much does it make? Uh, probably a little over a thousand, but it's the torque that gets you. How much torque does it make? Like a thousand. It just hits, dude. I don't know anything about these Barrows. And I was kind of talking to you about it last time. I'm like, they're big. They're big. Four liter. It's like it's like a four liter Jay Z. Yeah, except dual VVTi. Yeah. Some Australia stuff Hell right yeah. there. That's Let's, some Australia. Enough stuff. talk. More rip. <laughs> Let's go. She's just a little torque monster, you know. A little torque monster. Yeah. Just said my goodbyes to Sabrina in case she never sees me again. <laughs> oh, dude, it sounds rowdy. This is a car where, like, if you if you want to, it drives so good, I would feel comfortable with you driving it. Like, it's not a handful. Yeah. It feels like it's a handful, and it kind of is, but it's not, you know? Heat wave delivery boy. So, is that what I am now? Full disclaimer, the AC usually works in this thing. Um, but my AC machine's broken, so until I get a new one, we're rolling. That's okay. We're, rolling we're in Florida, baby. I don't need no AC. I got windows down. So the, the one thing that you'll notice, it's going to feel like it's a little darty all over the place. Uh -huh. So these cars were even that way stock. They have like 315s in the front, and it just tram lines all over the road. Yeah. So I'm going to put skinnies on it, and that'll help a lot. Uh -huh. When you're at a light, like you know how cool it is to have a drift car. Yeah. And you're just like, hey, what's up? And then they're like, yeah. it's like they're that. Like, dun, 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 dun. They look over and they're like, oh, yeah, they're like, oh. Sh I like how like, like factory it looks. Like yeah. it doesn't look like you have some big gearbox underneath there. And they're uh, they're helical gears, so they're not very noisy. Oh yeah, so there's not much like a little bit, a little bit, but definitely not like the Samsung on like a dog box. That's one thing that I wish that they would be able to experience through a video is just like the rumble and vibration under my butt right now that this car has. It kind of sounds like a V8, am I right? It, it has like a weird like V8 roar to it, but like it's so comfy. And like if we were going and I needed to take a nap, I'd be chilling. Exactly. That's that's what I was going for when I built it. It's super sick. I was going to say, so all your still factory attack works. Is this oil pressure? That oil pressure works. Wow. Oh, wow. It does. I didn't know that. <laughs> that's pretty cool. It's pretty yeah. nice. I like that. Oh, just got hungry. So I'm going to get some heat in her so yeah. we'll not go too crazy. My favorite thing though is just partial throttle using the sequential. How cool is that? So when do you need the clutch? Downshift? But you can set it up to like flip on downshifts too. So try it. It's really fun. When I tell you to, just pull back hard. Okay, ready? Yeah. Pull. Things, right? What? <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's pretty dope. 
the same, just like the, the Skyline, I've got anti lag in the back of the wheel, so I just go. You got all. Whoa. You got all the tricks on yeah. this car. Right, so I'm gonna do like a little first gear hit, which won't be fast, just to get some heat in the tires. Okay. I'm just gonna roll into it. I've been, I've been driving around the car. I thought it was in my all-in map. I was driving it around at 760 horsepower. Little did I know, it's got 820 in it. Well, I, I guess I, I knew that it had over 800. I just, I thought I'd been driving around on kill, and I guess I didn't. I probably lowered the boost one time at like the drag strip or something, and never put it back. <laughs> that were in your laptop last night at Kabuki's. I should, I, I, you know, I did when I was at dinner, and I had my laptop, and I was like, 40% sounds a little low for wastegate duty cycle, but I don't remember. It's been a while. Changing your maps, huh? Why That's is some that, Hollywood shit That's so funny. We TJ, don't have maps. TJ was like, it's, this is the ridiculous, most ridiculous thing. <laughs> I was trying to turn the boost up. I want to start by giving you guys a massive thank you for all the birthday wishes and all the support on the birthday sale we did on LZMFG. 
and remind you that this is your last week to get entered for chance to win our one of two manual signal green F80 M3 with $15,000 cash. Every $5 you spend on LZMFG or Drift HQ is going to get you entered for a chance to win. We've got heat wave sunglasses, BC coilovers, Grios detailing products, beautiful merchandise, and everything you need for your drift car. Click the link down under and shop like thunder. You going to adjust my tune for me? Yeah, dude. You don't need Freddy anymore. You got me. Get your Lambda, so spicy, dude. Just to be clear, I haven't driven this car after he retuned it, so I don't really know what to expect. It's gonna be a little bit faster, but it's gonna, well, I guess technically he got more mid-range back and then we put a bigger AR on it and lost the mid-range, we gained a little top end. Oh, I remember you talking about that yesterday. Same deal with this one, rolling any lag on the back of the wheel. This one's gonna feel a little rowdy, right? It think. sounds way spicier, doesn't it? Yeah. Dude, why do you have a Hydro on this thing? This is a full drift car, full ankle kit and everything. What? Yeah. Okay. Bro, I won like a pro-am style competition in this I same car. I thought this car. was like a drag car. I just use it for that. It does everything, dude. What? Come on. <laughs> this car feels way less tram than the Mustang. Yeah. You also feel road so much more in this car. Right? Oh, yeah. This car is going to feel like a <laughs> take which like I would take the barrel but as I, I think I told you when I got here this car I've like, seen you drive it this whole trip it's gangster it's comfy too right it's comfy you don't see a lot of 32 skylines in California and if they do they're not built like this yeah so it's like for me I'm like oh I would never think to like put a 2.8 in this car and like make it fast that is weird to have a 2.8 and like a yeah it's sedan. like just all GTRs yeah. like that's it so I like that about it 
And I just think the car wide on wide is just... Oh, I love it how it looks right now. I kind of miss the livery to a certain extent. I miss the red windows. It was just, it was so much more, uh, it, it like garnered a lot of like negative attention. Like people yeah. like be looking at it for the stickers and stuff. Like this kind of blends in a little bit more, but that the noises speak for themselves. Yeah, yeah. I I love the red tints though. The no, red I, tints were sick. I kind of want to do like a light blue tint or something. Just You're something a big to color colored tint guy. I've never seen anyone do that. Just on this car. I don't know why. I you did it on your FD car too. True. I want to see you. Like, I want to see you drift it. I want to see you go yank an e brake on the. Are you on the? Uh, not on these on tires. Slicks? Yeah, not on those. Come not on, those. you can do no, it. No, no, no. I tried Proof, it could do. Oh, you yeah. have? Yeah, it does not like I it. I want to see it on the same setup do third, three, four pulls. I want to see it drift. It's really good at cornering, too. Like, this car used to be really, really good at handling. I used to do back roads and stuff with it. It's a good all around car. That's why I like it. Yeah. Because that Mustang's only going to do one thing. True. Let's go straight. If you went to an all you can eat uh -huh. and you kept eating, then they're like, hey, you got to leave. You've reached your time limit. But then they go, just kidding. You can still eat and then you eat more. So it's like an unlimited buffet where they limit you and then release the limits. Yeah, yeah. Got it, yeah. That or it's like, I'm gonna go to dinner and they ran out of that, but then they check back and they're like, just kidding, one more, it's for you. Is it because you're TJ or is it just because they, they overspoke? Mm, probably a mixture of both. Yeah, no, I, fine line, but probably me. But. Would they prepare the meal the same or would it be different? No, they definitely spice it up a little bit. They're like, oh shoot, okay, bring out the good stuff. And that's what this car is? Yeah, that's like a good summary. Okay, got it. Yeah. <laughs> so, I told you guys, I kind of scumbagged TJ into letting us make his 350Z better. Is it better? <sighs> uh, uh, you guys are gonna have to watch this video if you wanna see what he actually thinks. Damn! He's good. He's so good. I didn't even think of that. That was good. Um, I'm gonna take a super quick rip in his car. You guys won't see that. Um, actually, we. I guess they could see you that. Can show it. Yeah, you guys can see me do a quick rip, uh, and then we're gonna drive together. I stuck a set of accelerators on TJ's car and mine, so we can have the same exact tires, so we can go do a couple fun laps. Of course, you know this car is gonna leave and go back to California. So selfishly, I want to drive with him before he takes it back, and I want you to experience what it feels like in tandem. Yeah. So. Um, We'll do a little bit of a shred set, so we get some other fun stuff planned, but I'm it's, stoked to drive it. It's night and day. I'm excited for your feedback. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just curious to see what you think about it, and it's very similar to other things that you have, but I don't know. To me, it feels like a million bucks. It feels so good. <laughs> I didn't know cars could feel like that. <laughs> so, the guys at Drift HQ crushed it. I feel like it was like a week and a half. They swapped your end and redid half the car. I thought Duarte was screwing around with me when he was sending me updates. I was like, what? You're already done with that? He goes, yeah, like, we're moving. <laughs> they were really quick. Freddy tuned it last night and it's out ripping, made a couple small changes, but it seems like it's dialed. I don't know of any other place in the world that you can wake up, walk 20 feet, do a little tuning, a little session, go drive, make adjustments. We can do that here. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> this guy. This guy. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> It's the best feeling 
three liter engine I've ever driven. Which makes sense, this is my chaser, but in a drift car, in built. True. You were ripping it. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, okay, it can do that. <laughs> this feels ridiculous. I'm in love. Uh-oh. You drove, dude. It's you really were, good. You were wheeling in the off it was, that was sick. I need, I need to do my rear geometry in my Z. Yeah. Oh my God, what a difference. <laughs> yeah. As I was saying that, the, the float is pretty good. This is incredible. A, like high power Z drift car. Okay. Usually they feel like really like heavy and clunky. I've never hopped in this. I mean, it's hard to compare apples to apples, right? Like I love my E36. This might be one of the best drift cars I've ever driven at the compound. That's like a big statement to make. I feel like the in-car GoPro footage will speak for itself. It just, the mechanical grip was like unreal. Watching you come around the corner for the second time, like you just rocket shipped out of here. Dude, incredible. <laughs>
one good lap in and then TJ broke his throttle. Um, he doesn't skip leg day and the throttle cable is only rated for like weak little chicken legs like mine. Yeah, I got um, stems, boy. Stems? <laughs> I got stems. I got tree trunks. I was gonna, a stem doesn't sound thick. A stem, no, like, a stem sounds weak. No, but it's like a strong stem. When I think of stem, I think of like the, the end of a tree branch. <laughs> Oh, damn. oh, okay, okay, okay. He built like All that. Right. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm LZ. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're just going to be rebuilding um, 18 cars for uh, FG Japan, FG uh, America, and Brazil, and uh, uh, New Zealand, and uh, Canada, and... Um, every other place hey what's up guys my name is adam lz i'm gonna be donating my car to booth because he's such a hard worker i'm just gonna let him have whatever car he wants hey booth did adam tell you yet he's gonna give you a car for free what are you talking about yep you'll see it on the vlog yeah you'll see you'll see it congratulations sean any car you want it's yours hey guys today i'm, I'm really uh sad but happy to announce that uh johan's gonna be leaving our team and joining tj's team to join him and dylan and calvin to make some really cool stuff hey, what's up guys it's adam lz i know we've had this hood for so long but you know tj could really use a dot 2 rs hood for his gt3 build it's the coolest build that i think youtube's ever seen i'm just gonna give it to him you guys understand hey what's up guys my name's adam lz i don't know what to do with all the money i make so i'm just gonna keep buying mirrors for cars that i don't use or have or even need anymore oh yeah and lastly before we end today's video when you said, it's gonna roll into it. 